Tiffany. I'm Joe. I'm Gio. I'm Bart, and you're watching Ask the Feels. And today we got a question from Dev Dev. Hey, my question is how do I stop taking things personal? You know, sometimes people say some really annoying, upsetting things to you. And sometimes they say it jokingly, sometimes not. I'm trying to figure out how to stop getting so easily offended and taking it personal. This is a good question. Almost everyone, when they're young, everyone doesn't know how to take things not personally. But then as you get older, you know, some people learn the skill of being able to detach themselves from what people think about about them and all that shit. They don't give a fuck about that. They rise above it. But some people never get out of this. They become old grandpas and grandmas that are still petty motherfuckers and they can't deal with people talking shit. Yeah, it is something very petty to mm -hmm. get, to let everything get to you. Mm -hmm. Just think that the whole world revolves around you and oh my god, they said this one thing just to get under my skin and then you let it get under your skin and mm -hmm. it's just the whole cycle of you don't need to let it get to that point. I, Bart tells me this all the time and you just have to listen for content. They could be telling you like, holy shit, like why are you always freaking late? Like what the hell's wrong with you? But you, you never look at the time, you don't know how to budget time correctly, what the hell's wrong? But if you're really listening, they're saying, hey, I care about you a lot. Can you please just get your stuff together so that it doesn't affect other elements in your life? So it's like really trying to just listen for what they're really trying to say. Because some people just, the emotions get in the way and they say things like you said. Sometimes they mean it, sometimes they don't. But if you can just kind of break it all up and just kind of read between the lines and always think positively, that's a good way to start. When I tell Gio, um, listen for content, people rarely say what they really mean. And so if someone tells you, hey, you fucking piece of shit, you're so fucking lazy, it could A, mean you're not doing enough work, so just do more work, like listen objectively. Or if someone tells you, what the fuck, why would you wear those pants? That's fucking ugly. That also tells me you have nothing going on in your life to the point where you have to worry about my fashion sense. So those are the, those. that's what I hear. And I feel like when you really start listening or reading into what is being communicated, Almost the words don't even matter anymore. You'll kind of get to the point where you're like, either A, you can change something about yourself and become a better person, or whatever they're saying, you're like, damn, that's so sad. He has nothing going on in his life that he has to talk about my pants. Because I feel like that's why a lot of celebrities, they do some crazy ass shit, but they don't really give a fuck because they're completely on another level. They could give a rat's ass what the paparazzi is saying, what us peasants are talking about. Like us, we'll be like, well, like, oh, look at the Kardashians, look what they're doing, look what they're doing. But our lives suck compared to theirs, and so they don't really give a fuck what we have to say. And so I think when you really start listening to what people are saying, you'll start to feel like, oh shit, like I don't need to take things in such an emotional way. That's so true, because I had this one coworker when I used to work at the hospital that her whole like work day revolved around starting drama with someone. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> It was so pathetic, and but then I looked at her life, and like her husband was in the hospital. He kept going in and out of comas, and like her kids hated her, and like she was getting like at work, her hours are getting cut, so she had a whole bunch of stress. That's how she dealt with the stress in her life. Yeah, what she's she really saying. Attention. Yeah, she wants attention. Yeah. That's what yeah. she's really saying. Like a lot of kids that act up, what they really want is attention. A lot of dogs that just bite sandals and cause a mess in your yard, they just and want attention. So if you treat it for face value and you beat the fuck out of the dog, you're just as dumb as a dog is. But when you can see the root of what is really going on, then you can start to really dissect things and you won't take things in such an emotional and personal way. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this episode of Ask the Feels. If you guys have any question, go on askthefeels.com and you can ask away. Make sure you keep it 30 seconds long because we don't want you taking up 10 minutes of the whole entire video, okay? But anyways, if you guys enjoy this video, like it and also subscribe because we be posting videos every single day and answering your guys' questions. Don't be afraid to leave a comment below and be like, hey guys, this and that, my experiences, your experiences, because from time to time, Time, we sometimes visit the comments, we read it, and we respond back. Also, to my left is a video. Check this one out because it's really fun and cool. I'm like, uh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know, like, it just every motion, every motion during sex is just like, I'd rather not speak because I don't want to hear my voice when it's like, uh.